Today's show is brought to you by thelovesickcure.com. Does your love life suck because you can't move on from the idea of him? Does every man you meet pale in comparison to the way he made you feel? It's okay, lady love. We 100% understand and have been there before. Whether you'd like the opportunity to get him back or to completely move on, we know this only happens when you cure your heartbreak and love sickness. Let us help you do that today at thelovesickcure.com. You are listening to Single Smart Female. This is Jen. And Jen. Letting it all hang out for your love life. Examining your dating experiences and answering your hot topic dating questions. Just you and us, Jen Squared. No topic is off limits and no filters involved. We are here to help you do dating on your terms. If you have a question you would like us to answer or would like to immediately upgrade your love life with our collection of classes and exclusive merchandise, meet us over now at singlesmartfemale.com. Hey, hey, single smart females. It is Jen 1 and Jen 2. That's Jen squared, oddly enough. Hey, hey, girls. (laughs) Coming to you today as your romantic fairy godmamas answering a listener question for your romantic knowledge. We're going to drop romantic knowledge on you. Boom. (laughs) Drop it like it's hot. So today's question is coming from Miss Hurt in Dallas. And you may have already guessed by now that she is from Dallas, Texas. Shocker. (laughs) And she writes, Dear Jens, my boyfriend of one year has a female best friend. They communicate multiple times per day. He made an office in her house and goes there almost daily to work, as she put in quotation marks. He says that they are not just soulmates, but twin flames. And in parentheses says, I had to Google that one. He is at her beck and call and 24-7. He spends nights there. In fact, he never came home last night. He claims that they are just friends, unusually close friends, that he loves me. He knows his behavior hurts me. Yet he continues to run to that woman daily. Am I an idiot for tolerating this? And how would you deal with this? She also tells us that she, like Jen said, is 43 and she has been divorced five years. She has one child and this is her first relationship post-divorce. Jen, would you like to start or would you like me to? I don't know. I, I definitely can't take this one if you want. You can do anything you like. It is your life. <laughs> Sweet baby cheese. Okay, let's um let's make this really simple. Are you an idiot? I don't like to call anybody an idiot except for men. Okay? I call some <laughs> men idiots. I don't like to call anybody an idiot, but you are tolerating something that I would not tolerate. I will say I've done something not exactly this like this, but similar. I tolerated in my first marriage when my Ex-husband, when I kicked him out, he moved into a 20-year-old's home at the time. I tolerated a whole bunch of stuff because I was extremely insecure and just a whole bunch of shit happened and I didn't have very high self-esteem. And so I, I don't think you're an idiot. I do think you're very insecure and that's not a hit at you whatsoever. It's just something I need to call out because this kind of behavior, there's nothing wrong with men having female friends, okay? We don't have to, as women, be threatened by that. But the level of behavior here of where he's taken this is not normal. It's not indicative of a female best friend. Having an office in her house, strike number one, that's, that's major. Uh, I mean, just doesn't, it doesn't make sense. And he goes there almost daily to, quote, work. He says they're not just soulmates, but twin flames. Like, my stomach hurts reading that. Uh, Yes. Gives me bad twinges. So, first off, him knowing the word twin flames tells me that he has all kinds of romantic intentions in his head with her. Regardless of whether or not she has those romantic intentions, because I'm not quite sure. He may very well be having an affair in his own head, but that doesn't help you because he is not dedicated and devoted to you. He Agreed. doesn't have the space for that. So this isn't, and he's at her beck and call. He spends nights there. In fact, he never came home last night. Yeah, Definite strikeout. Yes. Done. Scared. Done. He claims that they are just friends. There's no fucking way in his head 
They are just friends. And I mean, maybe they're just friends because she puts it on a friendship level, but he at least has feelings for this woman. He is completely in love with this woman. And I want you, I know you're not going to stop being insecure right this second, but I want you to take a step and say, you know what? Fuck this. No, it's, it doesn't work this way. This does not feel good. This is not the kind of romantic relationship that I want. I deserve much better. Go, Jen. Yeah, I mean, I have to agree. And I think that what it is, is you do not know and embrace your own worth. Because I will tell you that if my man was telling me that there was a woman that was his soulmate and twin flame, that would crush me. I I, I don't think it could even be crushed. I'd be like, okay, bye boy. Right. The thing is, you deserve to be called the soulmate and twin flame. That's what you are worthy of. So if you step into your worth and recognize this is not working and you deserve so much more, you deserve to be the one that he has an office in the house of or whatever. All this devotion and attention to her should be towards you. I hate to be even more sinister about this, but truthfully, from what you've told me, there is the very, very big possibility that they are actually in a relationship. Yeah. And she doesn't know about you. Right. Or she thinks that you're the friend. Right. And unfortunately, we don't have enough information in this question to know, have you ever been to this girl's house? Have you ever seen, met her, this girl? Do you know anything about her? If you never have woman, super, this is a woman, this I'm, I apologize, woman. <laughs> <laughs> if you never have, that is a big, big red flag. There's a lot of red flags here. There's this is definitely a no go. But I just want to point out, like, I don't know if you met her or not. That is concerning. So I'm going to tell you right now the first, the really big thing I would recommend to you is that you seek professional therapy right there to go through the breakup of this because of the fact I feel like you have a personality that could open up to so many possibilities, but I think you need a transition from being very insecure about men and tolerating bullshit from men into being single again and then into dating. And I think that that in this case would be, it would be very helpful to have a professional therapist at your side so that you can make that transition instead of sinking into your insecurities, feeling like you'll never have somebody anyways and just keep tolerating something like this. Or that this is all happening because you're not good enough to be, because you are, you are good enough to be the one that is called the soulmate and the twin flame. You are just totally good enough for that. And you're the only one that's going to end this. This guy, he's, he's going to keep playing the two of you because it's permitted by you ladies. So this only ends when you say stop. Otherwise, it's not going to, and you're going to torment yourself. Okay, lover girl, it's time for the final thought on today's show. It is okay for a man to have female friends while he is in a relationship with you. It is not okay if he prioritizes the friendship over you. Today's show is brought to you by thelovesickcure.com. Does your love life suck? because you can't move on from the idea of him? Does every man you meet pale in comparison to the way he made you feel? It's okay, lady love. We 100% understand and have been there before. Whether you'd like the opportunity to get him back or to completely move on, we know this only happens when you cure your heartbreak and lovesickness. Let us help you do that today at thelovesickcure.com. Hey, lover girl, this is Jen again. Don't forget to subscribe to the show in your favorite podcast app, as well as share Single Smart Female with all of your single smart girlfriends. And if you would like to play around and learn more about mantourage dating, come see me at singlesmartfemale.com. Talk to you next time.